Welcome back, any lovers. Today we're checking out Nine Realms Revolt. So you're gonna grab yourself a plate. This is from the creators of the Deliverance and Rain. They were super awesome and sent me over a copy real fast. They asked me if I could hop on and check out their newest creation, which I am very excited for because Deliverance and Rain is still, to this day, one of my favorite surprises in the indie scene of 2023. The idea that you had two games in the same one, but those played very differently and played just amazingly in their own right was just a ton of fun and i really hope you guys get a chance to check that out and also we're gonna check this out now demo is available on steam so if you're interested in checking this game out yourself you're more than welcome to <clears throat> this one's gonna be a mixture of like a, de a deck builder with also a dice roller in their own style and fashion now um because this is kind of an early de demo the or is that i'm saying early i think this is an early version of the game now a little bit more than what the demos delivered um i think that we're probably gonna have a little more content but we're also gonna probably have some issues with sound and all that stuff right now so we're definitely going to be trying to get through and be the best that we can as you see i've got everything set up pretty high but we're gonna we're gonna play with it as we go along here so with that being said if you do like it of course links are down below so you guys can check it out again demo is released so you guys can check out the demo anytime you want a first winter chill spread rapidly throughout the Alfheim, enveloping the land with its frozen grip. Despite the approaching cold, Vjolnir, 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 a young light elf. I know that's probably the wrong way to pronounce it, but I'm going to say it that way anyway. Left early in the morning. We're going to say Fjol, <laughs> Fjolnir. Left in the morning to hunt leather for the refugees, a faction of Ragnarok uh, survivors led by the Frey, his adoptive mother. As he sneaked through the forest, he spotted a pack of wolves as ranger training kicked in. Okay, now, deep press. Hold it. Shoot! Oh! <clears throat> In Nine Realms Revolt, you must destroy your opponent's banners before they destroy yours. The game board is divided into three lanes. Each lane has a banner, two unit slots, and a trap slot. Your turn is divided into two phases, the main phase and the attack phase. During the main phase, you can play cards and move units between lanes. During the attack phase, you can attack with your units. This is your draw pile. At the start of each turn, you draw a card from here. This is your discard pile. Whenever your unit dies or you play a spell, it goes here. This is your hand. During their main phase, you can spend money to play cards, spend mana, sorry, spend money from your hand. Oh my God. Play, spend mana to play cards from your hand. Why am I saying money? <laughs> You start each battle with three mana at the start of the new turn. Your mana refreshes and your max mana is increased by one up to ten. So that's how I play like the bigger cards I'm guessing that's coming up. Cost uh, Cards cost mana to play, which is shown in the top left of each card. Click and drag Sun Bask Whoop into the middle lane. Hit that. So let's say he has three attack, four defense, or health. Three attack, four health. This is your unit's health, which indicates how much damage they can take before they die. The unit's health is fully restored at the start of your turn. Oh, okay. So don't maintain damage. This is your unit's attack, which is indicated how much damage it will do when attacking another unit. You have no more mana to spend. Click on the end phase. Do it. <clears throat> on the first turn of each battle, the attack phase is skipped to allow both players a chance to add units to the board. This is now your opponent's turn. Now where are the dies, though? Mischievous a Pixie. It is now your turn again. Play units to overwhelm your opponent. Put here, one here, and I'm going to put one here. Is this the total attack in the lane? Is that what it is? You can now, you, you, it is now your attack phase. Your units can attack any, I don't know why I'm, I'm having such a hard time with words right now. Your units can attack any banner regardless of what lane they are in. After attacking, they become tapped and but will not be able to block on your opponent's turn. Your units untap at the start of your turn. Oh, so very, like very Magic the Gathering-ish. I like that. Looks like that my Pixies can kick this Pixie's butt at any time. There we go. Each banner has a die that will automatically protect it from the attacks as well. If the banner is attacked and no blocker is chosen, the die will block and take damage equal to the attacker's attack. Once it is reduced to zero, it is removed from the board. Your dice are replaced and rolled at the start of your turn. Oh. Units will always try to attack the banner. Your opponent can use an untapped unit in the lane to block it. If a unit blocks each unit, uh, if your unit blocks each unit suffers damage equal to their attack damage or opponent attack. If this reduces their health to zero, the unit will die. Like that. Units will restore to full HP at the end of each your turn. 
Once a unit attacks, it is tapped and won't be able to block during the opponent's turn. This is indicated by turning sideways. Units on tap at the start of the owner's turn. Do I want to hit this banner? Yeah, I guess so. It's telling me I want to. Win a battle with banner with uh, win a battle with only one banner remaining, but I, it's only, only the only banner I had though. That was easier than expected. <clears throat> Thanks to your sacrifice, my people will be protected this winter. Thank you. Static with this hunt, fjord, uh, fuel, <laughs> fuel near. I want to, I want to know how to say that again because Norse names really interest me. Packed the leather for transport and started back to his village, humming a song his mother used to sing to him. Once he reached the edge of the woods, a small warm snowflake hit him in the face, pausing. Fuel looked up to the sky. He froze. It was ash that rained down on him, not snow. Before he could will his legs to move, however, a group of hooded masked people dropped from the trees and surrounded him. You will come with us, Wilf. What? Who are you? What's going on? Now. The battle's already progressed. During your turn, if you can play and move units to any free slots in the lanes, units can attack banner from your lane, but only block from the banner in their lane. Oh. The two blood freight fairy in the right lane. Boom, boom. Move your light off from the left lane to the middle lane. Boom. Sometimes you will want to go on the offensive. You can etch your die to one of your units, giving it plus one, plus one for your turn. And so your next turn, the die will be rerolled into the respective lane. Units can attack any banner, but they can only block attacks against the banner in their lane. Units will always deal one damage to the banner. When a banner is damaged, it can call a rally, and the owner of that banner will draw a card. Some cards have rally effects that force them to be drawn and activate when active. Don't! Destroy your opponent's middle banner with your right units. Okay, but now he can, he can, well, he can't attack this banner because his banner's gone. So I guess it gets a little easier over time. Since this banner is targeting your middle banner and your unit here is untapped, you can use it to block. Untapped units can block as many times as they... Oh! Can block as many times as they can, so think about it. The unit suffer, survived this attack and even managed to destroy the enemy unit. You can use it to block again. But now he's dead. <clears throat> and he still hits. Since your banner was damaged, you get a rally and drew a card. Okay, so I get it. Now it's your turn, and your opponent use all the units attack. Yes, let's go. So now we all just come over here. Okay. Uh, what was that? Forgot the forget the leather. I need to go back now. Ash, smoke, and flames engulfed the refugee's village and seized it to the ground. Bjorn Hart ached at the sight, but his mother's cold, dead body brought him to his knees. His eyes burned and a scream tore out from his throat as he clutched his mother's broken corpse to his chest. Aww. Lost in the treacherous plant, uh, pain, the young Delph did not hear the powerful footsteps behind his back. Daddy came home? If I hadn't left so early, I could have stopped this. I could have... Mm. You! You did this! Fire troll catcher? Holy crap, why do you get so many cards? Oh, and 10 and 10 right off the bat. Some units have special effects that can be triggered by meeting certain conditions. Your Ascendant Historian has an unplay effect, meaning it will trigger when the card is played from hand. Unplay, choose an enemy, die, and change its value to 1. On attack, if you are blocked by a die, change its value to 1. Your Ascendant Historian changed the enemy died to one. Some cards require you to choose the target while others will trigger and resolve automatically. The other unit is a sun golem. This unit has a constant effect where it can't be blocked by units with one or less attack. We can use this to bypass one of the enemy blockers. <laughs> Lastly, there are no spell cards. These cards have, in, oh, there are spell, also spell cards. These cards have a mini impact on the game but are discarded after use. Use these to turn the tide of battle and to support your units. Unicorn Stampede is a spell with a high mana cost that deals damage to enemy units and die in a, in a lane. We can use this to clear most of the middle banner's defenses. Your Unicorn Stampede has destroyed the die and killed one of the opponent's units. It's time to attack. 
Oh yeah, I gotta go. We all know that he'd not bury everyone by himself, but refused to leave before burying his mother, even if he had to use his bare hands as a shovel. And with each dig, sadness and despair twisted into hatred. It burned through Fjord's veins, uh, threatening to collapse his throat and suffocate him. I'm going to call him F. Suffocate him to death. That night, F made a vow. He'll use the same hands he buried his mother with to burn or murder the fire giant and bring peace to the Nine Realms. For that, however, he needs aid from the other five factions who suffered under Revna's iron grip. And so, with hatred clouding his heart, F left his ruined village behind. He traveled north, seeking a sacred cave where Lord Hati guarded the last remaining portal to Muspenhau. Lord Hati's servants are guarding the entrance. I must knock them out. There's no other way. You could just ask. Like, yo, wolf. Hey, yo, wolf. Let me in. Jesus, the last type of card are traps. Each lane has one trap slot. Traps are placed face down on that slot and are triggered when certain conditions are met. These are be used to trick your opponent to take control of the field. Our opponents have an overwhelming force of units, so he's used this against them. When his banner is attacked, prevent the attack and deal two damage to all enemies. Oh, it's right there, okay. Play Radiant Unicorn in the left one. Play Radiant Unicorn in the right one. You can see some creatures can be played normally or as a trap to cheat out the mana cost. Try to use this to your advantage. But I want to play, but I, I got three mana. Why don't I play this? And your attack base. Dang! Now that advances in your favor, use what it what we've learned to finish the battle. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, then it's this, 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 but no trap cards. This. Oh, I guess I should have. Can I? Can I? Can I go backwards, please? that and this one's win this one's winning here so three two oh one one there we go. and now we play this guy over here so we get rid of that die There we go. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, my friends. I hope you forgive me when you wake up. F entered the depths of the sacred cave, used a small gemstone as his only light source. His breath was jagged and his mind fogged, but he gripped his bow with all his might. His people had worshipped Lord Hattie ever since Ragnarok's tragedy. He knew that the majestic wolf would see the urgency of his task and let him through the portal. A powerful red light halted his thoughts as it swallowed the surrounding darkness. He soon spotted the molten portal at the center of the round area in the cave. Hati, the sun chaser, stood in front of it, teeth bared and eyes glowing with yellow stained fury. You dare hurt my kin to search for revenge? Lord Hati, please, I promise they will be fine. Please, let me travel to Muspel, my lord. I'll do anything. I'll give up everything. Just let me through the portal. No, you are not worthy, and I shall defend the portal with my life. Oh, well. I don't want to hurt you. Ow. Ow. All right, this is it. Use everything you've learned to overcome Hati and begin your journey. Guys, this is still the tutorial. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so I start with three. So we're going to do Hati, the Sun Chaser. This creature costs one less for each creature in your hand. Unplay, destroy a random enemy die. Etch yellow die. When this creature attacks, deal one damage to all enemy creatures. Ooh. It's usually an eight, but because I drew him there. You're four or five. Ooh. You're a four or five. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, he de defeated my thing. I totally forgot about the, the defense phase again. I don't know why I thought about that. On attack, if this destroys a die, draw a card. So you edged that one. So I'm going to play this one here. I'll play this one here. And then we shall edge him. So let's do this is this is this <gasps> Jesus okay well there goes the rally effect jeez And, um, we'll do that. Jeez. Unplay, untap all friendly, unfriendly, all friendly creatures at a banner. Etch. Oh my god, that's a great card. Choose a creature, he gets plus two, plus two for this turn. Give another random friendly die creature if this one as well. Then you draw a card. Oh. <laughs> they have etched up everybody here. When this creature attacks, draw a card. No, 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 no. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do... Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that one. No. Wait, go back. Put that back. Put that back. Put that back. Put that back. 100%. Put that back. Um. Okay, I keep forgetting to hit main phase. I keep hitting for it to get to declare. There we go. I figured that would block him. Gotta get rid of people. Gotta get rid of people. Ooh, 666. Nice. that <laughs> gotcha. 
Dang. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to start putting out more creatures, I guess. When a creature attacks, this banner prevent the attack. All enemy creatures in this land cannot attack for this turn. Yeah, we'll go there. I'll go beautifully there. I like that. When your banner is destroyed, when your die is destroyed, untap this creature. I like that. We're going to etch her. If I play this right, I think I can win this turn, right? There's that. You attack this to destroy the dime. You attack this. You attack this. And there's no point in making you fight that because you're just going to die. So leave that is as is. that perfectly well as perfect as you possibly can right now I think it's play her again all right time to go crazy matter here. I just want to finish with my... I just want to finish with my wolf. Congratulations, these cards have been added to your collection. When this creature destroys a creature in battle, draw a card. Oh, when this creature... When it draw a card on top of this creature. What? Nasty. That means you just basically, you could soup her up and just be popping the whole time. Yeah, look at all the cards I got here. There's a lot of them. Just like him. How these dying words haunt F's as most palms portal engulfed and drained, uh, dragged him down to the volcano. Oh, I got my decks down. I get the young Mono. She was Mircha and she taught him to respect the wolf. A terrible guilt racked his mind over slaying Hati and he almost lost his footing once he left the portal. Musabel, Musbelheim was everything you thought it would be, a monumental realm filled with fire, smoke, and heat where the black rock met lava and somehow did not melt, where the flames gave birth to monstrous creatures that shook the nine realms within their might. But uh, F had no time to dwell on any of it, for giant spiders crawled out of holes in the, uh, on the ground salivating for blood. Oh, ew. What in the norns are these things? Screech! I'm not going to actually screech because, well, I, I like you guys and I don't want to make you deaf. You just mulligan? Oh, I can mulligan. Nice. Keeping you. Keeping you for a one. When a creature attacks his banner breath attack, all enemy creatures in the lane cannot. Yeah, I'll keep that one. It's nice. It's a nice progression. I don't have a three, but a three would be perfect here, but whatever. Main phase. Let's go one. And let's go Holly right there. We can attack the first phase. Unplay. Choose an enemy die and deal one damage to it. Etch black die. Gain plus one plus one this turn. Oh wow. Okay. I think I play Hati.
Yeah. Oh. I guess I didn't think about that one. Jeez, okay. I totally just didn't think about that. I probably should have moved him over to protect that die, but whatever. Okay, can I take that back? No, I guess I can't. What just played? What just played? What just played? I just missed the whole thing. That's my discard pile. It's like a molten. It's like fire dwarves. Look at this. When a creature attacks his mana, give all your creatures plus five for the rest of the turn. Oh, Jesus. They're huge. Yeah, let's get rid of that one because oh that's cute can I move the band can I move this over now dang I'm playing this right. Whoa! Tap a random green creature brawler. Brawler can attack any creature and force him to block. Oh, that's awesome. That's such a kick-ass, uh, creature. Hmm. I'm not going to move over to defend that because there's no point in defending that. Oh, I could have played her. I could have attacked and then played and attacked again. Still learning everything. I'm sorry. All right, let's do this, shall we? Surprisingly, the weakest. These things are killer. Uh, 
I like that. We keep that in hand there. It doesn't matter. They can't. They can't do anything. I went anyway. There we go. I was like trying to figure it out. I'm like, there's definitely a way. There's no way they could do this, right? Oh, look at these guys. The fire deck is probably yeah, that's probably amazing. It looks like you're boosting. That was horrible. I need to catch my breath. F scanned the horizon for any discernible landmark. He knew that the fire there must be a fire giant somewhere in the realm who could guide him to their leader. After hours of walking through the realm, F spotted a jet of black fire uh, flame somewhere far. Its sinister nature made its skin crawl and his body recoil in fear. Whatever that thing was, it did not belong to Muspahan, to any realm perhaps. His instincts told him to avoid the flames at all costs, but before he could decide what to do, the ground split in two in front of his eyes and a gigantic vermin slithered out from the fire abyss with a deafening screech. You've got to be joking me, I can't beat that thing. Yes, again, and you will, or you'll die. Um, I wish I had... Wolf, wolf, no. Did I just pull the same things? I did. Choose a creature to deal X damage to it, where X is the highest value on your, on your thing. Rally, deal X damage to two random. Wow. Okay. Well, that that was that. I'm thinking after my pal, I'm mean, never getting ready to come down in this. So. They have some very strong characters. Doing its draw card. I'm screwed. I'm gonna lose some banners here. Well, let's put this there. I don't have enough power to defeat the the die right now. Good 
gonna say, didn't it say that they can't they can't attack when this when a creature attacks this banner, prevent the attack, and enemy all enemy creatures from this lane cannot attack for the turn. Interesting. Okay. I, mean, I might as well be buffing these guys up. There's absolutely no reason not to buff these guys up right now. Trying to get rid of. Oh, shut up. For real? That's the third one that's been played this round. The third one. God, that was that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Like they take you out a tutorial and they're like, oh hey, so here's your first match. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks, thanks for joining me for the Indie Buffet, where we'll help you find your next favorite indie. Peace!